Hey everyone, in this video we are talking about another compounding interest sort of question. In this one, it's going to be the exponent up here, the amount of time, that's our unknown, and we need to use logarithms to solve for it. So, my other video on compounding interest, I get into how I use the formula and why my formula might be a little different than the one you've seen, but um, you can check that out after this one if you're still not quite sure what's going on. So we've got a question where we go to the bank and we borrow $16,000 at 5% interest. Here interest is compounded semi-annually. We end up paying $18,500, so how long was the period of time for our loan? So first I'm going to write down everything we know and hopefully we'll only be left with one unknown that we can use logarithms to solve for. So we know we end up owing $18,500. We started owing $16,000. Interest was 5%. Always write it as a decimal, not a percent. So the decimal is 0 0.05. Interest was compounded semi-annually. That means twice a year. So n is 2. This n is also 2 and it's two times the length of time. We don't know what that is yet. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the 16,000 over here. So I'll divide both sides by 16,000. 18,000 divided by 16,000. I get it's approximately equal to 1.156. Just keep, you know, three or four numbers after the decimal so that your rounding error isn't too large. 16,000 divided by 16,000, well that's just 1. And then nothing over here has changed. 1 plus 0 0.05 over 2 to the power of 2 times t. I'm just going to write that as 2t. Just make it look a little bit nicer without the multiplication sign in between. So I think what I'll do now is simplify what's in the brackets. 0.05 divided by 2 is 0 0.025 plus 1 would be 1.025. So it's 1.025 to the exponent of 2t is equal to 1.156. Now I need to start dealing with this exponent, so to do that I'll take the log of both sides. Always take log base 10 because that's the one that you can do on your calculator. And I'll get the power rule of logs says that this exponent is going to come in front. So I'll get 2t times the log, always use base 10, of 1.025. Log 10 of 1.15 is just some number, it's a decimal, and so is log 10 of 1.025. I'm at 1.156 over here, of course. So I'm just going to divide both sides by this. Log 10, 1.025. They're both just numbers, so I can do that. Log 10, 1.025. Those will cancel out, and I'll be left with 2t on that side. Over here, I will be left with, when I divided them, I got like 5.25. 8, 7, something like that. Divide both sides by 2, and I get this is equal to, I got 2.9 when I did 5.87 divided by 2. You can just round that to the nearest whole number, which would be 3. Those 2's will cancel out, and I'll be left with t. So t, the time in years, is equal to 3. So it took me 3 years of paying this loan and I ended up paying $18,500 for a loan that originally cost $16,000 because I was paying 5% interest compounded semi-annually over three years. 